We're still at 19 record closes for 2018. Doesn't look like we'll see a 20th today, but we do have green on the screen with the Dow Jones Industrials moving higher by 192. The S&P is up 10 points. Look at this 10-year picture. Boy, we've come a long way, baby. Now with us is Haverford Truff Chief, Chief Investment Officer Hank Smith. Uh, Hank, let's get to it. The market action today is is pretty much moving on the trade deal, right? Oh, absolutely. I think so. And I think the market's become very comfortable with uh, Trump's uh, unorthodox uh, strategy regarding trade that really uh, kicked into high gear this summer. And the, and the market's done pretty well throughout the summer into the fall. So why, if things look very strong, we have a good economy, we have a very strong market, we've got a trade deal, at least with Canada and Mexico. Are you right. saying just stick with big domestic names? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I stick with uh, the good, high-quality names. Uh, if you want some further diversification, uh, emerging markets, which has been a big laggard, I, I think represents uh, an opportunity here. I think the bigger, uh, more important aspect, Liz, is stay fully invested. There is no reason to get defensive and raise cash or or uh, go to more fixed income uh, because no we may very zero. well only. No reason. We may very well be in the mid cycle, not the late cycle, uh, as it pertains to both the uh, economic cycle and the market cycle. JP Morgan Chase, J and J, Dow DuPont, three Dow names, and and in the end, is there anything on the horizon that you see where you might say, okay, if the Fed's raising for the fifth time, uh, or or who knows what, sixth in a year and a half, right. that might be a moment where you should raise a little cash. So, so you have the Fed and the potential inversion of the yield curve that has to be paid attention to. But I think the market is adjusted to the Fed's approach pretty well here. And then, of course, you have midterm elections. And if we should get a sell off because uh, there is potentially a uh, blue wave mm -hmm. or uh, we, we get an outcome okay. the market doesn't expect, we think that's a buying opportunity. All right. Well, we're looking at a gain of 197 points on a Monday, first day of October, setting the tone. That'll do it for the Claimant Countdown.